Womaninji, I'm Auntie Eileen Harrison. Please enjoy this garden, inspired by my painting, Art from the Air. The first totem pole is the wrens. Long ago, there was a great fight between the men and women of the Gunai Kurnai. The men had killed a deed gun, a small bird that was sister to the women. In revenge, the women killed a Yirung, another small bird that was the brother to the men. This caused a great fight among the women and men. After the quarrel, they began courting one another. They then agreed to marry, so uniting Yirung and Deej Gun, ever since then the Gunai Kurnai men have had to fight for their wives. All Gunai Kurnai men are now one order. This is the Yirung male uh, wren, and this is the symbol, which is the male um, Main male symbol. This one here, the circle is a female symbol of the deep gun female bird. Now this is Bimba, the fire tail finch. The Kanai Kurnai people had no fire in the dreaming. And he decided that he wanted to get some fire for them, but the fire was kept by two women. And he made friends with them and acted deadly, and they let him stay out the camp. And then, while the women were asleep, he got up and took the coals and put it on his mum, his rear end, and carried the coals and took them back to the Gunai Kurnai people. He always wore the red on his tail from the coals. And that's how the fire began. The Bush Lounge Room invites the visitors to share this precious story. So you can imagine, we live in the bush, okay? And then a white fella comes and we say, sit down, mate, enjoy this fire and a cup of tea or a beer. <laughs> so I like this because it's it's a sort of a black fellow, white fellow culture. We have the fourth totem pole of Bunjil and Wa. Bunjil is an ancestral wedge tail eagle. He is called the creator. Wa is the ancestral crow, the protector. Bunjil created much of South Eastern Australia and the features and the animals within. He also created people by breathing life into moulded clay. Bunjil's rules respect yourself, respect others, respect the environment. He who flies high watches over the land he made. I always loved this story. In the dreaming time, the first Gunai Kurnai came down from the mountains, carrying a canoe on his head. He was borrowing the pelican. He crossed over the river that is now known as Sail and walked along Taro Racklin, Port Albert, in the west as he walked, he heard a constant tapping, but couldn't identify it. When he reached the deep waters of the inlet, Oren put down his canoe, and much to his surprise, there was a woman in it. She was Tuck, the Musk Duck. He was very happy to see her, and she became his wife and mother of the Gunai Kurnai people. They are the parents of the five Gunai Kurnai clans. And this one here is my totem, Black Swan. She's a part of my childhood. She's special to me because of something that I saw 
when I was nine years old, I went for a ride in the boat by my elders and something happened. She was alone swan and my cousins decided to catch her and they rode after her and she tried to, she didn't seem to try to escape from them but they caught her anyway but grabbed her by the neck and put her in a sack and um, put her under my seat where I was sitting in the boat and then we continued across the lake to Cocky Roberts as uh, an old friend to the Gunai Kurnai people and while my, my sister and my cousins were up the trees getting fruit. The elders were having put the billy on to boil and having a cup of tea. And then all of a sudden, clouds come out from nowhere. And then the old fellows singing out, hey, come on you kids, we better get across back home. So we all hopped in the boat and then the clouds all came up out of nowhere and um, the boys were trying to row across. We got into the middle of the lake and the waves were, oh, were getting a bit too high and the boat was rocking and I was scared. I thought we were going to fall out. So my... Elderly uncle come down to the bottom of the boat where I was sitting. I don't know how he did it, but he just came down because he, he called out to tell the boys to let the swan go. But they were too busy rowing. So he came down and took hold of the sack and undid the, the ropes and he gently let the swan back on the water. As she started to swim away, she looks back as if to say thank you. And then she starts to fly up into the clouds a bit. But then all of a sudden she was gone and the clouds disappeared and the sun came out. So this is where I thought it was a magic thing for me. <laughs> so this is why it's special. This Goanna is the bad luck. He belongs to the Budluck Trail. Budluck is a Kurnai word for lizard, and a trail winds through East Gippsland like the tail of the lizard. It is based on a series of 11 aspects of the Kurnai life, which gives an understanding of knowing Budluck means lizard. The 11 aspects are one, white woman's water hole at the one one stayed reserve. Number two, the lagoon sail common state game reserve. Number three, Nobs Reserve, Stratford. Number four, Rummyuck Cemetery, Perry Bridge. Number five, Den of Nargan, Mitchell River National Park. Number six, Crowa Thunkalong. The keeping place, Bairnsdale. Number seven, Howard Park, Bairnsdale. Number eight, Legend Rock, Meetung. Number nine, Buchan Caves, Buchan. Number ten, Burnt Bridge, Reserve Lake Tyres. And number eleven, Salmon Rock, Kurnai Boardwalk, Cape Conrad. Let's watch this garden grow together. <laughs> 